Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening. This is Rusty with Masters Lawn Care, and today I've got another quick tip on Gainesville Lawns. It is July 5th, so the day after Independence Day. Hope you had a wonderful time uh, shooting off fireworks and enjoying your lawn last night. But as I woke up this morning, I was looking across the yard and happened to notice some webworm activity and uh, some early webworm activity. And so I just want to show you how to identify this and uh, kind of give you a walk through the yard and what you can do about it, how to treat them. So I don't know if you can tell by looking at this video, my grass, my St. Augustine grass in my front yard is pretty tall. It's uh, about six days after it's been mowed. It gets mowed on Mondays. And so i uh, got a good bit of growth here, pretty tall. And I happen to notice this area right here out in the corner and this area up by the front where it's a little bit lower. It's not growing as quick. And so as I started to look closely, it was very easy to tell where webworm damage is. So again, yard's fully grown. And then we have this spot right here where it is shorter. And we also have a spot up here where it is shorter. So typically what I always tell people to do looking out for webworms is to look for moths. I have not noticed that many moths in my yard, but maybe I've not been looking closely. But another way to know webworms is finding the low areas and then looking for areas where the grass has been chewed. So as you can see right there, the grass has been chewed. You can see right there, this has not been mowed in a week, so that grass leaf has been chewed. That grass leaf has been chewed. Even coming over here, we can find other leaves that have been chewed all the way down to the stolen, like right there, right? So any time you find grass leaves that are chewed down like that, down to the thick part, you probably have either army worms or web worms, depending on the type of grass you have. So if we dig... So I pulled back the, the grass a little bit further, and as you can see right there, those are webworm droppings. I'm trying to pull the grass out of the way. Those little uh, nuggets of chewed up grass are webworm droppings. And if you see that little shiny thing right there in the middle, and actually there's one moving over there under the grass blade, those are active webworms. I'm gonna try and get one in my hand to get one moving for you so you see it. But that's, he's actually translucent green because he's been eating the webworms. That's what those droppings are right there. So here I found a couple in my hand. You can see they are not big. There's a really active baby webworm and then the adult just kind of uh, started moving around and those are the droppings there between them. So that's what a sod webworm looks like and they're only translucent green because they've been eating the grass. That one's just starting to wake up there. He's a little bit fatter and had a little bit more of my grass than the other two. Now I've done webworm videos before and showed uh, kind of how to identify them and showed the moths before, but that's the first time I've been able to actually show a live webworm on the video. So another thing I wanted to do today was also show how to control them. So obviously my uh, best recommendation is to give us a call. If you're in Lachua County, we'll be glad to help you out with the webworms at 378-LAWN, 352-378-LAWN. But let's say you uh, don't want to have somebody else do it, you're a do-it-yourselfer, or if you don't live in our area, something that you can do is you can go to Home Depot, Lowe's, any of the big box stores or Ace Hardware, um, anywhere that sells pest control supplies, and you can buy any pretty much liquid lawn pesticide insecticide and it will work to kill webworms almost 99 percent of them are um in the label will mention sod webworms because they're easy to kill um it's more of a contact kill so it's not going to get you a residual you know it's not going to be lasting for two or three weeks you may have to do a couple different treatments to kill the life cycle but uh, almost I hope that's helpful for you. If you have any uh, questions about your lawn or anything we can do for you, again, give us a call at 378-LAWN. And I'm Rusty with Masters Lawn Care. Have a great night.